Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content from groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie, and today we have a Stray Kids intro max accident. Apparently this is a very deep video. I've been waiting to finally react to it. There's other Stray Kids stuff I want to do. Uh, we have... Um, recently they went on the dog show, which we've been waiting for, so I'm looking forward to that. I hope Seventeen go on it, because I'm pretty sure people said Seventeen, a few members did go, so hopefully they're next, um, being posted. But yeah, let's hop into the video! Yeah, apparently Ordinary had one too. That's not English. I tried to do that. That's Chinese, but I do it. It looks cool. Just, you know, to do it once again. Nothing crazy. Why don't I put... Why does Jason look so fancy? Oh, that so cool. Oh, that looks 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 so cool. Oh, that 긴 시간 동안 서로 나누지 못했던 것들을 마음속에 품고 왔던 것들을 많이 많이 나누고 보내드린 것 같아서 너무 소중한 기억이었어요. 이번 앨범을 한마디로 표현하자면 음, 하나의 사건, 뭐 하나의 사고 아직도 한 번도 해본 적 없는 그런 타이틀 주제를 저희가 일단 시도를 하는 거여서 그거 자체가 되게 큰 포인트라 생각하고요. 되게 느낌이 다르죠. 어, 많은 가수분들이 얘기하는 사랑이랑은 이렇게 전화를 받고 하트 괴물이 나오고 어. 아마 스테이는 좀 직감했을 것 같아요. 그냥 평범한 사랑 노래는 또 아니겠구나. 스트레이키즈가 겪은 I guess that connects to the ordinary too because it's not ordinary love. 어떻게 봐주실지 되게 기대가 되고 스트레이키즈만의 사랑이 무엇인지 표현들을 어, 지켜보는 게 하나의 포인트라고 that's very true. 한이 곡은 항상 한이가 만들었구나라는 게 느껴지는 것 같긴 해요. True. 그게 이제 한지성이라는 사람의 장르겠죠? 시초라는 곡을 딱 작업하러 들어갔을 때 녹음실에 들어가기 전에 한 1절 정도 녹음이 들어갔을 때 녹음을 해보니까 별로여서 아예 처음부터 끝까지 싹다 만들어놨어요. That's so him. That's such a G-song thing to do. 3시간 차안 걸렸던 곡 중에 하나인 것 같아요. Wow. Oh, I wish we could see those parts. Like them record. Why am I even surprised? Why did I even ask for it? I should know they would give it to me. I should not even question that. I'm so used to not getting... I don't know. I'm so used to... Maybe some artists will show behind the scenes of recording. Um, SM does it quite a lot. But it's not as... I feel like recently we've been doing it more. But I'm still at the point where I'm shocked when they do. I just thought if we did, it would be a separate video. 
척차는 마음 좀 척, 척, 약간 좀, 쪽이랑 척. 남들 없이 버려 나 다시 해는 왜 없게 일단 썩 타는 마음 좀 시켜. Can he get husky? <laughs> Shouldn't doubt his huskiness. They're more of a yeah, more rhythmic. Ooh. He's wearing a maniac shirt. I like you see their posters in the back. They gotta update the pictures though, man. We're like two stages behind, two hours behind. Mm, I love I love the echoing so much. 반말 곡 속에 이 곡은 사랑 노래인 것 같아. 근데 mm -hmm. 굳이 사랑 노래라고 딱 정하진 않아도 될것 같아. 그냥 사랑과 사람의 이별에 대한 노래. 그냥 어떤 사람과 사람이 만났어. 그런 뭐 연인일 수도 있고 친구일 수도 있고 아니면 뭐 직장일 수도 있고 학교일 수도 있고. 아 근데 나는 굉장히 잘 지내고 있어. 인간관계에 대해서 어려움을 겪고 있잖아 나. 그냥 뭔가 그때 막 이런 느낌의 영상들을 많이 봤었나 봐. 저는 사실 사랑을 시킨다는 거에 이의를 제기할 수 있는 사람이다. 아 시켜 가사는 살짝 좀 슬프지 않나. 약간 가사는 되게 차갑게 보일 수도 있지만. I think I said that. Um... 서로 좋아하니까 싸우는 거고 마음 한켠에는 굉장히 슬픈 감정을 묻어두고 있다는 걸. That's true. I don't know, Jisung. <laughs> Seems a bit chilly. I'm trying to hold off and watch them all in the same video, or at least a couple of them. Dang, Mino. Mino looks so good in that video. Yeah, it, 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 that's true. That's why I like it when artists don't throw away their songs and stuff. You can always fit them somewhere later and you might just adjust it and upgrade it. <laughs> oh my god, behind the scenes of that, please. Oh. Oh, he's so gentle with animals. Can you please go behind the scenes? Super bored to the video that came out today. Yeah, me too. So catchy and annoying, and I love it. Literally, yes, 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 like you, thick. Yes, yes, baby, you're an angel. Let us know. Tell us with confidence. Tell us with confidence. Music 
This is so cool. I've only really seen like 17 do this type of thing where they go through each track and explain it. Of course, idols do it on countdowns. Comeback videos? Like um, the countdowns to the comeback? Oh, I will probably hate it, but I'll support it. This is considered a drill music? I'm guessing it's a light version. I thought he was saying he wants to do drill music. Is this, is this like a soft version of it? Because any drill music I've heard is harsher. <laughs> but there's probably subgenres to drilling music genre. I really want to see, yeah, this explanation. Okay, that's what comments in the lyric video were saying. Oh, what a good explanation. Just look at me, how green, 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 impact. Wow, that's really cool. Wow. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Oh, we're going so quickly through these. Oh, what a bop. Yeah, to sing another ballad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yes, that's what I figured. I kind of prefer that I waited after I listened to the album to react to this because it connects things better. <laughs> Look at the cheese and smile of any. He brings me such joy. Mm. Yeah, more emotion. It gives a nostalgia. Oh, circus is so good. But we're going through the tracks fast, so what's the rest? Circus is so good. Oh, that's so interesting. I guess that makes sense, actually. Yeah. Never mind. I'm not that shocked when they said that. Now that I'm... That's usually how it works. Oh, 
그거에 대한 부담감도 정말 많았어요. 이번에 또 처음으로 사랑 얘기를 하는 거고 그러다 보니까 아이 계기로 한번 세 글자 한번 벗어나 보자 라는 생각도 조금 한것 같아요. 뭔가 그런 거 있잖아요. 덕통사고 막 그런 것도 들었거든요. 그런 단어도. 하나의 사건이 될수 있다고 생각해요. 그 뭔가 인생에서. 그래서 뭔가 사건 일련 번호로 표현을 해보고 싶었어요. 그 제목 자체를. 아 저는 처음 듣고 이렇게 좀 놀랐어요. 아 우리한테도 이런 곡이 나올 수 있구나. <웃음> Perhaps, I don't think it's that different. Like, I don't consider this that poppy, though. I'm like, I. The song's not that different from things they've done. Plus, they released Get Cool, but I feel like sometimes. No, because they performed it. I feel like sometimes they like to pretend that it doesn't exist. But then they do perform the song sometimes. Get Cool's. Probably their most poppy title track. Well, I guess Get Cool wasn't a title track, right? So I guess that's why. Because I Get Cool is in the I Am You album. Hmm. I guess but I Am You would be poppy. I don't know, I feel like some other title tracks are a bit more poppy. What's Astronaut considered? Also, what would you consider Stray Kids' sound? Because if it's not pop, what would it be? It's not rock. Hip hop? But it's not hip hop. What's, what's, I feel like it's K pop, which is pop. Because <laughs> they don't have, like, K pop groups don't usually have, like, R&B, pop, hip hop, country. <laughs> like they don't have like one genre. That's what K-pop to me is. It's a mixture of genres. So I feel like they'd be considered EDM, rock influence, hip hop music. I don't know. What is? <sighs> it's just K-pop to me. <laughs> Like, I feel like God's Menu could be considered a bit poppy. No, I'm just curious what their genre would be. That's true. Mm -hmm. Very true. 뭔가 스키장은 되게 직접, 직설적이다 해야 되나? 하고자 하는 메시지는 정확하게 전달한다고 생각을 하거든요. 뭔가 처음 사랑을 이렇게 시도하는 트레이키즈가 하게 되게 풋풋하지 않나? 가사들이 막 꼬지 않고 오히려 되게 간단 명료하게 내가 하고자 하는 표현을 직설적으로 말하는 게 그게 좀 매력적인 것 같아요. That's, that's very true. 저희가 막 이렇게 야너 남자친구 약간 이런 느낌이 아니라서 그냥 저는 더 좋았고요. 그게 이제 But, but baby, you got the lyric. Can I be your boyfriend? <laughs> Again, I know what the lyric was saying, but... Why do I keep getting attracted? I feel like not only is it the hook, but I feel like it does give a point of what the song yeah. is about. It gives a huge summarization of this is what um, Case 143 is telling. Oh, my man just flipped English. Please warn me. Very true. It's very, why do I get in attracted? Like, it's very dum dum. Why do I keep getting attracted? Changmin is always out here stealing what I'm saying. We did this in the album reaction. I stated something and then he sang it in the next line. I was like, what? We are the same person. 98 line. Wait, 98 line? Wait, he's, he's 98 line. Oh my god. He's 98 line. Am I forgetting their ages? Music video 
특징은 아, 생각나는 게 정말 많아요. 이번에 진짜 긴 시간 동안 정말 많은 컷을 찍었기 때문에 거의 장면 전환마다 새로운 컷일 것 같아요. 정말 전 열심히 했습니다. 운전도 하고 유리도 깨부수고 점프도 하고 야, 정말 많은 일이 있었습니다. <웃음> 임팩트 있고 I can't wait to do the behind the scenes of the music video. I think that's next with the dog video. Is it now? Is it? Me still struggling. Like, do the arm thing. I got mother, 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 I got 좀 귀여워. So cute. 손가락으로 표현한 건데 1을 강조해 줍니다. 그 다음에 이 1을 쳐서 내리면서 4를 만들어 주시고요. 그리고 이걸로 이 손가락을 가져오면서 3을 만드시면 됩니다. 근데 이게 조금 빨라요. 1, 4, 3, 4. It's the hand choreos for me in JYP. It's the hand choreos. Too complicated. My brain will not function. It was I love you because of sign language, right? <laughs> I agree, I agree so deeply. I think you can never be perfect. <laughs> He's so cute. He... Oh. That's so cute. It reminds me of when um, Felix was like, if I'm a cat, would you treat me? Something like about him turning into a cat. I truly think everyone's gonna think they love like they always everyone's gonna think their love for their group members is different from other people's love for their group members. That's, but I think that's what makes the love so strong is you always you can't even imagine anyone loving someone as much as you love your members and stuff. Mm -hmm. But does he not feel that? 
I think you don't realize when you're changing though, because you're with yourself all the time. Yeah, yes. So much so mature. I feel like we haven't gotten a lot of Changbin at the end here. Oh, there he is. I was missing him. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't that um, a lyric in a song too, I think, right? Um, Super War song? I think that was the... I don't remember, I think that was somewhat the message. Oh, I don't know why this making me teary eyed, man. That's so. Because it's hard to explain it. Oh, Changmin's words made me kind of teary eyed, man. <gasps> That's so sweet. <laughs> That's so sweet, it's coming from the two other older members. His eyes are teary, Mino's eyes are teary eyed. Yeah, I know. I think they've said. Also, to your parents. I think he said that before. I feel like I've heard him say this. <laughs> I find it so interesting people think that way. I get what they mean with him, but in general. When people say, well, if you say it too much, the meaning runs out. I feel that way for a lot of things, but I think I love you is a phrase that to me can never, like there's no end to it. You don't run out of it. That's how I feel. I have never once thought they say I love you too much. This person says I love you too much. I feel like I've always just thought that's a phrase that doesn't lose its value. But that's like my perspective. So it's so interesting. There's people who think you can say it too much. You're both gonna just die. Yeah. I think the crazy thing is I believe him. I can see him jumping uselessly, uselessly after someone 
even though it wouldn't actually help anything. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was envisioning. Risking everything for someone. Honestly, I'd be out there shopping and I'll look at something and be like, hmm, I can see Felix wearing this. <laughs> I can see Hyunjin doing his hair like this. Very weird, isn't it? Why they pick one four three for this? I guess it's because of the song, but she's trying when you're loud. I love Changbin. I knew that. I don't know. He's been bias wrecking me this era. Um. I feel like people see love as a cliche topic because I would say like 70% of songs are about love but I always saw it love gets that attention because it's universal and you can interpret love in so many different ways and you can hear 10 love songs and they all have different meanings just because the concept is love doesn't mean they all sound the same like someone can make a, like Taylor Swift she can make a whole album about love she has <laughs> like all her songs are kind of about love but like literally her album love but like they all encase different meanings and stories and stuff and I feel like people really they I feel like people think songs aren't meaningful unless they're about something sad which I think is kind of fucked up if you think about it that's kind of the world we live in where if you're not on the verge of tears and anger then you're not feeling things and i think that's a really morbid way of looking at life i mean same um i do think love can be a cliche but i think like stray kids took love and turned it into a very interesting concept and i liked hearing them talk about how especially bang chan wanted to kind of avoid it because he's almost like scared of the concept of it and how to you know write for and stuff um so it was really cool to see this um i definitely loved it and i would love to go back and do the ordinary one if i have time but right now i need to catch up on things but like i said we're gonna actually do finding stray kids season three on patreon i'm actually watching it tonight the first episode and i'm gonna try to watch the second episode when it comes out because i'm i'm late for the first one but yeah that's gonna be on patreon um you can join this month or you can wait till next month because it charges at the beginning of the month but i'll see you guys then bye <laughs>